I'm back with another video and today I am showing you an all mop top wash day routine. with another one brand wash day. I absolutely love doing these to give you guys a really good basis of comparison on how an entire line performs on one head of hair. I know my hair is so different than yours and I'm not doing this, trying all the products so you don't have to. I am just showing you how these different products behave on my hair and giving you my inexpert opinion on what I think of them. All right, so there are a couple of things with this wash day. First off, the mop top stylers are pretty heavy in glycerin and I tried really hard to wait until we had ideal dew points. And I'm not gonna lie, I have literally been waiting months <laughs> to try these mop top products for you guys in ideal dew points just so that I could give these products the best possible chance to perform at their mostest bestest. Well, I did wait until we had ideal dew points and yesterday was wash day. I washed and styled and dried my hair and then today I woke up and the weather had changed on me. The dew points had shot back up through the roof and my curls had drooped. So I tried, I really, really tried, but if you're interested to see how these mop top products perform in my hair, then just keep watching. All right, let's wash this disgusting, greasy day four hair. I had it up in a braid with some pre-poo in my hair actually, and I'm gonna be using the Mop Top Salon Gentle Shampoo. I'm using about this much, and I think it's the lavender mint scent, and oh my goodness, I feel like I'm in a spa every time I use this stuff. It smells so good. Now I'm going to spend a really good amount of time rinsing out my hair and because I used an oil pre-poo, I'm actually going to do a second cleanse. I learned about this a long time ago and it really helps my oily, greasy scalp. And you can really see that the shampoo foamed up quite a bit more the second time I washed my hair. And I actually used less shampoo the second time. It didn't look like it, but I swear it was like half the amount. So now I have just rinsed all that out and I'm going in with the Mop Top Daily Conditioner. This stuff, you guys. Oh, I love this conditioner. I feel like everybody who does Curly Girl Method needs to at least try this conditioner once. It smells so good. I, I was a little hesitant about the bamboo scent. I thought, what does bamboo smell like? Well, it smells like heaven. <laughs> I really love the way this stuff smells. And the slip and hydration are just absolutely incredible. So I'm just taking a good amount of time here to finger detangle and now I'm doing a squish to condish making sure to rake the hair off the back of my head and really squish to condish the back of my head as well as the front. I found in the early parts of my curly girl journey I wasn't doing this enough and so the back of my head would actually stay pretty tangly because it wasn't getting properly moisturized. Now I'm just finishing up the squishing and raking and raking and squishing. And now I'm ready to rinse out the conditioner. I've been trying really hard to keep my hair lifted up while I rinse out the conditioner so that it doesn't completely stretch out my curl pattern, but I'm, I'm really not doing a very good job. I'm trying. So today I actually did a bit of an experiment. I rinsed out all the conditioner and I am running the dim and brush through my hair with no product in it. No leave-in, no conditioner, no nothing. And I was trying to figure out the best way to get my curl clumps to form. I could really feel that the back of my head, like things were sticking funny. And so I was like trying to lift it off the back of my head with the dim and brush and then smooth down the curl clumps with the dim and brush. I don't know. I was just kind of playing around with it, trying to get the curl clumps to behave. And I just wasn't having a whole lot of luck. This kind of happens to me when I don't put leave-in in my hair. My hair won't clump up properly. Mop Top does have a really good leave-in, but I just don't happen to have that one on hand. All right, now I'm going in with the Mop Top Curly Hair Custard and the Citrus Kumquat smell is awesome. So I grabbed maybe a quarter sized amount. It was like 
a fourth of a teaspoon, I think, maybe a half, half, fourth. I know that's a big difference, but let's call it half a teaspoon. And I am just gently squishing and pulsing that in. And I could feel this really strange cowlick on the back of my head. So I went ahead and grabbed the Demon brush and just smoothed that out. And now everything is really good and stuck to the back of my head. And I'm kind of freaking out, wondering how the heck I'm going to get those curl clumps unstuck. So if I grabbed half a teaspoon the first time, I now grabbed a fourth of a teaspoon of product. And I'm really focusing that on the left side of the back of my head and making sure that those curl clumps and the hair on the back of my head is getting some product as well as the front and top parts. Really squishing in that product, grabbing one more fourth teaspoon of product. So I did a half in the front and then a fourth on one side and a fourth on the other. I hope that makes sense. It really is how I try to use an even amount of product. Now I'm just squishing some more and I decided to edit very little of this squishing process out so that you can really see just how long I take squishing and pulsing in my products. I really do this a long time so that the water in my hair has a chance to kind of mix with the product and then cause the product to penetrate into my hair because the water helps keep my hair's cuticle open and allows these awesome, delicious, nourishing products to get inside my hair and make it super healthy. Now I am just grabbing the Mop Top Medium Hold Gel and it is absolutely just a medium hold. I grabbed about half a teaspoon and that's all I grabbed of this. As soon as I started applying this to my hair, I could feel that my hair was pretty saturated with product so I didn't want to grab another fourth teaspoon for each side of the back of my head. I am just shaking those curl clumps a bit to kind of get them unstuck from each other. You can see how they're clinging to each other in kind of a wonky, weird way. Just giving them a really good shake to make sure that they are separated and not sticking together, looking all strange and odd. Doing the same thing on that side and just doing a really good squish to get that gel nice and absorbed into my hair's and squishing and squishing and pulsing, turning my head from side to side to side and squish and pulse. Seriously, I do this a lot. All right, there we go. All right, so I've plopped for about 20 minutes while I did laundry. And now I am just gonna diffuse. And since I'm still testing out the Manly Dupe dryer, that's how I'm gonna diffuse my hair today. All right, here we go. All right, I am here to scrunch out the crunch. I let my hair, I diffused my hair with the new dryer, as you saw, and I didn't time how long I diffused for today. I'm gonna say about 30 minutes, and my hair was really not very dry. I would say that it was at 60 to 70% dry, and I was done diffusing. I was not gonna diffuse anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and scrunch out the crunch. I did let it finish air drying. I just wandered around my house while I waited for my hair to finish air drying. So now that it's 100% dry, I will scrunch out the crunch. I get really excited when I see good dew points because I love these mop top products so, so much. I feel like they are so high quality and affordable and they smell good and it makes my hair soft and shiny but with bounce like it's everything my wavy curly dreams are made of oh and i almost forgot go ahead and hit that subscribe button because i would love to have y'all around for some more videos okay i'm gonna finish scrunching out the crunch to find my part in the viewfinder. Ooh, ooh, hello, pretty wave friend. You can stay over there and be highlighted. There we go. Just making sure everything is unstuck. And I like to grab my fingers like this and fluff my hair back away from my face. I really feel like it helps settle everything away from my face and I have flipped my part 
from the side that it air dried on so that I have some free root lift that I didn't have to clip for because I'm terrible at clipping my roots for volume. All right, so these are the results after scrunching out the crunch. Let me show you the back. I I don't have to tell you. I am feeling these results. So, yay! All right, I will be back tomorrow morning to show you how they are holding up for day two. Good morning. So, here is my hair after sleeping on it for one night. I actually tied it up in a silk scarf, very similar to how I did in uh, this video. I'll have it linked up here. Let me show you how it held up. So, <laughs> the silk scarf did fall off of my head in the middle of the night, and I don't know what's going on necessarily. I haven't seen Mop Top perform like this on my hair before. Like, usually I get better longevity, better hold. My hair is really flat and pretty frizzy. Um, I need to check the dew points. Hold on, let me do that. Um, that's what happened. Okay, so my hair is pretty sensitive to glycerin and this is what the dew points are. I know it's only 61, but the ideal dew point range is from 40 to 60 and 60 is kind of on the high end. So the dew points were much, much lower yesterday and I think that's why my hair did well yesterday, but now the dew points went back up. So this is what happens when I use glycerin in non-ideal dew points. So here's what we're gonna do. We, meaning me, I'm gonna go for my run and I'll be back later to check in with you guys. All right, and these are my day two results and I have a dirty little secret to share with you. I dry brushed my hair. <sighs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Let me tell you why. It was my own fault. It was not the product's fault. When I went for my run, I made the mistake of leaving the ends completely out and they were so windswept and windblown and tangled that they were not looking cute anymore. It completely stretched out any curl definition I had left and just created a bunch of frizz. So I am going to show you now exactly how I practice safe dry brushing. First off, you will need something like a detangler spray from Simply Curls Co. I'll have it linked down below. I've been really impressed with so far. Another one you could try is the Allocade Lemongrass Leave-In that's readily available at Target. And then you will need a very gentle brush. I personally really enjoy the Wet Brush Shine version. It has these bore bristles right there as well as these longer, very flexible, bendy, classic wet brush bristles. This brush is so, so gentle on my hair. So let me show you how I practice safe dry brushing. I love the mist on this thing. Look at this, hold on. Can y'all see how gloriously fine? Like I would, I would set my makeup with a mist that fine. Like that is glorious. Spray the underneath layer, spray the canopy, and I'm going to gently smooth that in with my fingers, begin the detangling process with my fingers, and what really got me were these sections right here. These sections close to my face are really, really fine, and they get really tangled easily. So what I did is I grabbed some product on my fingers, and I mean, I focused it right there in those really tangled sections. And this stuff melted those tangles out. My hair is so prone to tangles and I can't stand that feeling. I like for my hair to feel smooth and not feel tingly. That's one of my vices. That's one reason I dry brush so much. So I have another section. I've talked about it before. Same side, it's right here. 
directly focusing the product there but making sure my entire head had some detangler as well. Once I've used my fingers quite a bit, I will practice safe dry brushing by starting at the very ends of my hair. I am not ripping, I'm not pulling, I am just gently letting the brush glide through my hair and slowly working it up higher and higher. There is nothing rough about this, there is no pulling, it's extremely gentle. What I love about this brush is it never rips out my hair, ever. It, it will if I rip it, but it's so gentle. It never hurts or tugs at my sensitive scalp. It never hurts, you know, like when we were little and our moms used to brush our hair and we were like crying in pain. <laughs> this one doesn't make me cry. And there you have it. I've already brushed it out once, obviously, but I'm showing you again how I brushed it out. So after being brutalized by the wind and my run this morning, these are my day two brushed out waves. Let me show you the back. I know that this isn't the defined curls, but this is actually a whole nother look you can go for. It's really soft and kind of fluffy. If when you brush out your hair, you find that your hair just grows to magnificent proportions and you just don't know what to do with it, what I have done, it did that this morning on me. You grab just a little bit more leave-in on your hands and I kind of like ran my fingers through my hair with them wide open and it kind of pulled things down into the curl clumps again a little bit. It went from out here to kind of where you see it now. All right, so all of this to say, I kind of need y'all's help. Would y'all like to see me redo the one brand wash day with all mop top and wait for those ideal dew points? Hopefully the weather plays nice for me two days in a row. And y'all did kind of get to see my day two hair before it was completely trashed by the wind or is there another brand that you would like for me to test out in an all one brand wash day? Let me know down below. I would absolutely love to know what y'all think. That is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys out. Anyway, if you enjoyed yourself and had a little bit of fun learning about safe dry brushing practices, then give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe because obviously we've got some more one brand wash days happening at some point. I just, you know, I'm waiting to hear from y'all. So I hope you are having an absolutely fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye.